Hey guys, it's Oros here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a complete guide on the Kadara Vault. I've had a lot of people ask me how to do the second glyph puzzle. I didn't even know there was a second glyph puzzle. So I went back into the vault, I reloaded my save. I had to redo all the monoliths because I didn't have a save right at the beginning of this vault. But I went back because a lot of people were asking me to. So here's the full guide. This will show you how to get the Remtech both of the secret puzzles, all of the data clusters, everything you can scan in the vault, and all of the chest containers. So this is completely wiping the vault. Um, this should take you about 15 minutes. Notice the frame drop there. Uh, hashtag Xbox One Master Race. Just kidding. PC Master Race. But I played on Xbox One for achievements. First thing you're going to want to do is come back here and just grab that remnant data cluster. And then you will need to activate the auxiliary power by activating this remnant console now these three little bubbles will pop up and just walk into them they'll hurt you but just interface with the console and they will start to actually heal you after that i don't know why the game does this i think this was the first or second time they introduced these so it might have been trying to teach you the mechanics of them but other than that i i don't see the point in doing this but after you open the third and final one this vault door will open and you'll have a couple enemies out here just mow them down if you'll notice something that i kind of just no balls go all the way with these enemies is because this was like the third or fourth time i completed the vault because every single time the recording corrupted so i was getting a little tired i had to run the monolith like three times because i was stupid and didn't create a manual save so all my auto saves were like at the end of the vault First thing you're gonna to wanna to do, skip the first remnant console, go up here and kill these two assemblers. Doing this will allow you to jump up to this back platform over here. There's a remnant cluster, so you're gonna to wanna to pick that up. Just go ahead and scan it right there. Now you're gonna to wanna to jump up onto the highest platform you can get because there's a container back here. Open it, take all the shit that you want. I typically just take everything. I don't see a reason for not. Um, this part, you're going to want to wait. So go back and we are going to activate the first remnant console right here because we are going to activate the Remtech room and make it possible to escape the vault at the same time. So we're just going to knock all these platforms down, raise a couple out of the Pharaoh fluid. I think that's what the game called it. And you're just going to want to jump across to the edge here. And... There'll be a couple enemies here. There's an old flyer. Uh, the shotgun. This is the vendor shotgun from the Nexus. I think it's called the Piranha 4. This thing will mow through any of the remnant that you have. I recommend buying it. It's kind of expensive, but if you can buy it, I would get it. You're going to want to activate this remnant, remnant, wow, remnant console right here. And you're going to want to, I think I head back and reset the path. Yes, that's what I'm doing currently. So you're going to want to head back to the first console that we activated. And you are going to reactivate it so that it changes the path so that you can escape and pick up the rim tech. Because I'll show you that when you have that console uh, activated in the secondary position, so the position that it's not currently in, this bridge right here will not form. And the door to the left, which houses the rim tech uh chest will be closed like there'll be a solid door behind it next thing you're going to want to do is hop across here and get this data cluster that's just sitting up here you have to hop over to this one i forgot which one it was how close you had to be now go ahead and activate that and jump back over and i believe this is where i started doing the secret puzzles but you will have two you'll have a wave of enemies here just fight through them, as you can see here. I'm not fast-forwarding through any of the fighting because I literally just mowed through everything in about 30 seconds. So there's no reason to. You'll notice there was a chest there in the center. You'll get that after you're done fighting. Uh, these turrets can be kind of a bitch because they're, they're shield eaters. But other than that, just once again, kill all your enemies. Now, I will note saying this is... These enemies are surprisingly easy. Now that I think about it, normal difficulty, not so hard. It probably is more of like easy. So 
if you're like if you're watching this video trying to figure out like how if you want to get the game for whatever reason i don't know showed up in youtube recommended um don't pick normal pick a higher difficulty but you're going to want to pick up the chest here and now there's two things that we're going to do back here first things first is you we're going to want to hop onto this little half pillar and jump up here because there's a remnant console here that will open the uh, secret chest room over there. So you do that, and then what you're gonna wanna do is just jump back down here. As you can see, I'm tr like trying to show you where the room is. And you're gonna wanna hop over to the other side here because there's another half pillar that you're gonna jump onto. Notice this is the way to go to the hidden glyph puzzle with the console. Uh, hop up here hop up here to the final platform open this container and you'll notice there's a glyph on the wall i don't exactly know what this does i think it's just lore wise but just go ahead and scan it anyways since this is everything now you're going to want to activate this remnant console pick up ammo if you needed it right there because you're going to have to fight a destroyer uh i think a couple of nullifiers and some breachers so that can be annoying uh, sniper rifles make good work of his turrets. So does the shotgun, but the sniper rifle generally hits a little bit harder. And it's a little bit more accurate. Or at least accurate if you can properly aim it. It's, it's, it's hard using guns on console. Now that I've used PC for so much. But, yeah. Pretty much just mow through all these dudes. If you can. I can really recommend the Piranha super good for killing everything as you see i don't even think my shields drop at all and i'm kind of not even using cover just rushing at the nullifiers and they kind of just stacked up here be careful don't let them get in that bubble behind them because i think it heals them i'm not 100 sure but i'm pretty sure it, or it accelerates their healing or something like that now what you're gonna need to do is either destroy this turret or see the remnant console to the left of it you just activate that and deactivate the turret doing that uh if you don't kill the turret this remnant console up here you can't activate it so unless all the enemies are killed in the area you won't be able to activate the remnant console let's go ahead and finish off any stragglers if you had any and now here comes the wonderful crazy scientific space sudoku dorito bullshit um if anybody's curious to how i figure these out you essentially do plug and play or where you take two cross sections and you see what can physically fit there and what cannot and you kind of eliminate your options to go from there so for example with the second row from the top see how it has a red sort of i guess it's a bent L shape with two teardrops is how I would describe it right there on the far left side uh, that I, I'll do a video later I'm doing an analytical video where I explain it better but just uh, wait wait for that if you're curious how I do it I, I trying to explain it but I can't think of the words right now um, but there's the puzzle the code if you need it just pause the video as always that'll give you two skill points and it doesn't do anything else it's just a skill point boost so if you need skill points which everybody should um go ahead and pick it up now we're gonna move on to the second uh hidden glyph puzzle which is the room sort of the six glyphs with the extra remnant clusters uh you're gonna want to open this door you see i pull out my gun there'll be two assembler bots in here just take them out they're nothing too ridiculous and you'll notice this puzzle here up on the screen i will put the correct order that you're supposed to input them but i'll explain how this works is you're supposed to input the code that's flashing on the door from left to right so you'll notice me activating all of these consoles um if you i kind of ran through this pretty quickly so if you need to just pause take your time with this don't mess up because an enemy will spawn if you input the incorrect code and you'll know you entered the correct code, A, if you just followed what I put on the video, and the consoles will have a little red ring around them, and they'll make that ding noise. After you enter the final sixth remnant console, this door will open, allowing you to scan three of these data clusters, 
picking up a remnant core block and there is some data clusters on the roof now i believe that is no we still have the secondary or the hidden chest room to go pick up the chest then and then we will finish the vault and i'll show you how to do that as well so just open up the door and we're gonna want to come back from where we came originally so just keep on sprinting this uh this vault is actually really easy and the puzzles in it were thankfully very easy Compared to the uh, Elodin vault, that that vault, it still gives me nightmares. If if you want to know why, go check out the video. And you'll see, it's around the 8 minute mark is when I start doing the glyph puzzle. And you'll understand why I, uh, I, I hate that vault and I'm not going back. Like, if there's another secret puzzle, I'm leaving it to someone else to figure out. I'm not, I'm not going back into that shit. But head over here to where we... Uh, I don't think we've been over here before, but you're going to want to activate this remnant console here. What this will do is it will deactivate those platforms in the water and open up the final room. Now, for the final room, you have to activate all of these, um, these interfaces, I guess is what you would call. And every time you do, a remnant enemy will spawn. So I'm kind of just running through, activating them all in one go. Uh, I'd recommend activating one, killing the enemy, and then going from there. Because if not, you'll see I almost died a couple of times. Because there was like four observer bots just laser beaming me to the face. And it, those beams will completely demolish your shields in an instant. As you can see, it's pretty much gone here. And I kind of got swarmed. Also, another note from a couple commenters on my other vault, the secret glyph puzzle. Don't knock any of these guys off. Because if you do, the game doesn't count them as being dead. You can't kill them, and you're kind of shit out of luck because you won't be able to activate the final console. Because everybody's still alive. So make sure you kill them. Don't pull them off the map. Don't push them off the map. Try to make sure they're all killed frequently. Um, go ahead and... Once again, just activate all of these interfaces. As you can see here, I'm putting away my gun. Because I, I don't like how far zoomed in you are with the weapons when you don't have them holstered. And the final one should activate a nullifier. I kind of just demoed him here. And another observer bot. Finish him off. And you should be good to go. There will be one final chest that we have to do. Which is just back here. It's in this uh, sort of this shield octagon of blast shields. And that's all the chests that we have to get. The last thing that we have to get after activating this is the Remtech gear. So activate the interface, which will activate the purification field that will chase you. And you're just going to want to haul ass. Go to the left here and reactivate this remnant console. Doing so will re-raise the platform so that you can actually escape. And it will shut the door behind you, which has really no effect. You can jump and dash across here if you want. Uh, be careful because you might uh, fuck it up and miss. But just jump across here. And you'll notice that this the barrier field is now down. So go ahead, run in here, get your container, get all the stuff in there. I didn't get anything good. I know the first time that I ran this through... I got like a remnant decryption cracker core thing, which uh, kind of sucks because I can't do them because I do all the glyphs for you guys. So I just sell them, but just continue escaping the vault, follow the route that I take. And you will get to this final console here, which will end the purge of the vault. It will then close the vault and you will have completed this vault. You will have gotten everything physically possible in the vault, I believe. If there's anything that I missed, feel free to comment below and I will pin the comment uh, so other people can see it. Other than that, I hope you guys like this complete guide. I will probably be doing more of these as I get further into the game. But as always, hope you enjoy and I will see you next time.